So last night, my phone started going mad about 10 o'clock, pinging people saying, hey, have you seen this? What's this about? Is this real? And it turns out that OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, have just unveiled their latest product. So if we think back to a year or so ago, there were products out there where you could type in a description of what you wanted and it would make you a video, but the videos were pretty disjointed, they looked a bit weird, and they looked like this. I made a video on it back then. So OpenAI has come along with this new product called Sora, and this is the kind of videos that it's generating, 100% AI, none of it's real, it's all synthesized from a computer. So I looked through these examples and I got like a sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach and it's taken me a while to understand why that is. But let's just take a look at some of the details in these videos. The hardest part with AI generated images is the consistency between them. So you can ask for an AI generated picture and if you ask for it again, it'll be different. What this is doing is generating a string of images put together as video that are consistent, there's continuity between them. The textures have got depth and feeling to them. It's got physics. You can see the car bouncing along. I mean, yes, if you look very closely, you can see artifacts in it and you can see places where it's gone a bit weird and where things shift. But overall, I think if you showed these videos to people that weren't expecting it to be AI, they look real. I mean, look at these puppies in the snow. Look at the fur on them. Look how the snow sticks to them and falls off in some places. There's interaction between all the different elements. <laughs> so why did it make me feel sick? Well, first off, it's the size of the leap that we've just experienced in technology. Like I said, a year ago, we were seeing things like this. And now we've got things like this. The technology is coming along exponentially and the power that this has to, I don't know, mislead people if it's used maliciously is incredible. You're not going to be able to believe the news anymore. What if you said that a particular town has been bombed? Here's a video of it. Somebody's been in a terrible accident. Here's a video of it. There's a new series of Firefly coming out. Here's the trailer. Oh, only to get crushingly disappointed when you realise it's not real. I think secondly the reason it made me feel sick is that already with computer generated voices, AI generated images. YouTube is just full and getting fuller of a sea of just fake stuff. And as someone who's trying to build up a YouTube channel, if people can now just click a button and make videos, that's really worrying to me. Now I'm sure there's gonna be people in the comments that say, oh, you can tell this is an AI generated video because of this, that, and another. But don't forget, this is the first preview of this technology and it's, it's only gonna get better from here. So I guess one of the plus sides is that when I make my videos, I use stock footage that I buy off the internet of things that I want to kind of intersperse. And with this type of technology, you'll just be able to have a video made for you instantly of exactly what you want. You know, for cheap, like without somebody actually having to have gone and put a scene together and filmed it. So I bet the companies that sell stock footage are literally quaking in their boots right now. Let's take a look at another example. So this lady walking through a street in Japan with neon signs behind her. She looks like a real person. There's reflections in the water on the street. Again, if you pay really close attention, you can tell that there's something up with it, that it's not quite real. But to the average person on the street, this would pass as actual footage. So what this means is that OpenAI is gonna have to put some serious controls in place. What if somebody was to make a video of the president of America slapping somebody? Or like I mentioned before, any kind of violence. Now this was only released yesterday and it's a demo of what their product can do. So you can't actually use it yet, but it's a glimpse into the future of AI generated video. 
To be fair to OpenAI, they also gave some examples of when it didn't quite work so well. So look at these foxes here, they're kind of blending in and out of each other and appearing randomly. But the fact that they've been able to make this system in a year, where are we gonna be in two years, five years, 10 years time? I do feel like we're actually living in an episode of Black Mirror. Well, I guess that's what Black Mirror is about, isn't it? So is AI going to take my job as a video creator? Please let me know what you think in the comments. Give this video a like if you found this interesting and please subscribe if you'd like more kind of news like this. Bye for now.